Hey, Tony here. Today I'm going to give you my top 25 films from the 1980s, so stick around. So Tim over at Tim Talks Talkies has done another community challenge and this time it's for the 1980s. Now I grew up in the 1970s and the 1980s, so a lot of these are very nostalgic to me. Um, some of these may not have made your list, but they're definitely, the, they're definitely the ones that I really enjoyed watching. All of these I did get to see in the theater um, back when they were released. Got a lot of great memories of them. It was really hard to just choose 25, but I did just stick with the 25 so there would be no honorable mentions. So first up we have Field of Dreams. Great film. Next up, we have An American Werewolf in London. I really enjoyed this movie. Great werewolf transformation scene. And then we have The Outsiders. I really enjoyed this one. It comes from a great novel. Uh, a lot of people back in the 80s read this um, for school. And even my sons who went to school in the 90s also read the book. So a lot of good uh, memories of The Outsiders. A real fun um, teenage comedy, romantic comedy, I guess, um, is um, Can't Buy Me Love. I really enjoyed the performance with um, the nerd getting the girl. That was a great film. We also have Who Framed Roger Rabbit. I really enjoyed this one. I enjoyed seeing the animation mixed with the live action. Also having the Disney characters along with the Looney Tunes was great. Then we have Indiana Jones and the Raiders of the Lost Ark. I have great memories of seeing this one in the theater. Really love the character of Indiana Jones, so really enjoyed this one. A classic horror film, A Nightmare on Elm Street, of course, was excellent back in the day. I really enjoyed it. Um, who could beat that great character of Freddy Krueger? Then, of course, we have Friday the 13th. I enjoy the original. I enjoy pretty much all of the Friday the 13th movies, but I do have a special place for the original Friday the 13th film. I'm seeing that one in the theater with my family. Okay, next up, we have The Goonies, a great um, coming-of-age story with all these great characters. It's an adventure, really fun movie. I really enjoyed that. Then we have this great drama, Witness, um, starring Harrison Ford. Um, Kelly McGillis and Lucas Haas, I believe. Um, great film. I enjoyed the story. I enjoyed the crime element of it. Um, really good film. Now this is an odd one, but I just have a lot of good nostalgic memories of this one. And that is Coal Miner's Daughters, starring Sissy Spacek. I really enjoyed this biopic of Loretta Lynn. Um, and I've always just really enjoyed The Coal Miner's Daughter. So that had to be in my list. Next up, we have The Breakfast Club. Of course, this right here is, reminds me a lot of my high school years. Great film, great story, um, great way to see how a group of different kinds of kids come together with a lot of similarities. Then we have this great action flick, um, Lethal Weapon, starring Mel Gibson and Danny Glover. Really enjoyed this one, a really good fun movie, really good action film. Then of course, another great action film, is Die Hard. I really enjoyed this one with Bruce Willis. A uh, great Christmas movie. And then, of course, we have this classic, The Shining from Stanley Kubrick. Really enjoyed the performance of um, Shelley Duvall as Wendy. And, of course, Jack Nicholson. Um, I really enjoyed this story. I um, remember seeing this one many times growing up. So that's definitely going to be in my top um, 25. Okay, now we're going to go to my top 10. At number 10, we have The Terminator. Really enjoyed The Terminator. I enjoyed, I think I enjoyed The Terminator more than I enjoy um, Terminator 2 Judgment Day, um, but I really enjoyed both of them, and I probably one of my favorite um, Arnold Schwarzenegger films. At number nine, we have Back to the Future 2. I really enjoyed the continuation of the story. Um, really enjoyed Back to the Future, even though it's been many, many years since I've seen it. Don't ask me any trivia questions about that or even about Back to the Future, of course. At number eight would be Back to the Future. Really enjoyed this film. I loved seeing this one in the theater. I thought Michael J. Fox did a great job as Marty McFly. At number seven, another nostalgic film for me is Footloose. I uh, really enjoyed the music, uh, Kenny Loggins' soundtrack, um, Kevin Bacon's performance. Um, it did remind me a lot of my youth um, growing up in a very religious household, going to church, the dancing, the singing, and all that stuff. Of course, 
one of the first movies I remember seeing in the 80s was Gremlins. I remember me and Sonya, my wife, went and saw this one. Really enjoyed it. I enjoyed, I don't know, I don't know what it was about it. It was kind of magical to me as far as these little creatures. Um, it has some horror elements in it, very graphic horror elements. Um, cute little gremlins. Okay, at number five, we have Top Gun. This is another one of me and Sonya's favorite films from the 80s. We did get to see this one in the th theater also. Um, great soundtrack, another Kenny Loggins songs, and some other great singers. So we love Top Gun. At number four, we have Beetlejuice. Really love Beetlejuice. I love the style of it. I enjoy the characters. Um, another nostalgic film. I remember me and Sonya driving to from Georgia to Tennessee to go see this because all the theaters near us were sold out. We wanted to see it, and I do remember driving to Chattanooga to see this one, so a lot of great memories of that. Here we have The Color Purple. Um, this is another film that I remember seeing in the theater. Um, I actually saw it twice in one day. I saw it by myself the first time, and then it I enjoyed it so much that I invited some people to go with me to see it, see what their thoughts were on it. Really good story, um, a sad story, um, a really good drama, great performances, a lot of great songs, so really love that one. Okay, at number two, we have E.T. This right here will always be in my top ten, and I just love this film. I love the characters, I love the story. Of course, um, great performances by the young actors. Um, so really love E.T. It's one of my favorites. And then, of course, my number one all-time favorite movie of all time, The Empire Strikes Back. This right here will always be my favorite. I grew up watching the Star Wars films. Saw them all in the theater. Have a lot of great memories of Star Wars, The Empire Strikes Back. Um, just love the storyline. And it's going to be my all-time favorite. So those are my top 25 films from the 1980s. Please leave me a comment below. Let me know what you think about my selection. And also, if you'd like to, you can share your top 25. And I'll make sure that Tim sees those so that you can be, so that you can be included in the top 25 um, 80s films of all time. If you like what you saw here today, please give a thumbs up and share the video. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I would really appreciate it if you would subscribe. If you do subscribe, please remember to hit that notification bell so that you can be notified every time I upload a new video. If you haven't found me on my social media accounts, I'm on Instagram, TikTok, and on Twitter. And if you'd like to find out what I've been watching, you can find me over on Letterboxd. I do have links below. But thanks again for watching, and we will see you next time.